Hey guys, wanted to give you a little bit of an update. So essentially, now I am going to be leaving Kiev. Uh, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I'll be flying out of here to Istanbul, Turkey for three weeks. And I know, if you watched my previous video, I said, hey, I don't really see any reason to leave Ukraine that I think if some type of invasion were to begin, I would have time to probably get out or whatever it was that I said. Anyway, I wasn't planning to leave, but uh, I got a phone call from my parents on Friday and they were essentially so concerned and worried that my dad wasn't getting any sleep and he'd actually been trying to convince me to leave for the last couple of weeks. But you know, I didn't want to leave because of the cost, the cost of money, the cost of time. I'm paying rent in an apartment. I don't want to pay double rent somewhere else. And what about all my stuff? All my YouTube filming equipment? I don't want to lose all that. Yeah, I know. Stuff is just stuff and your life is the most important. But, you know, we all have economic constraints that we have to consider. So I didn't want to unnecessarily waste a lot of money and time. At any rate, like I was saying, uh, my dad was having a lot of stress about this and he said, okay, Jason, if you will just leave now, we will pay for you to fly some nearby country and just stay there for like two or three weeks. Just get out of there at least temporarily. So when I was given that proposition, I thought, okay, well, I can go somewhere and still be doing my work on YouTube. And at the same time, it'll put my dad at ease so he'll be able to sleep at night and I could probably see a new city, you know, have a little bit of time for sightseeing and having a little bit of fun. So even if a uh, Russian invasion doesn't actually occur, it wasn't a waste because it was work plus vacation at the same time. So yeah, I'm going to be gone for three weeks. That's the update. You know, I thought this whole thing was unnecessary, but I wanted just to follow my parents' really strong advice. But the funny thing is I bought the ticket two days ago and since then, uh, the news articles have just been escalating, you know, and the US is like, Russia could attack at any moment. And I was watching the prices of the flights have just been going up and up by the hour. So even by the time that I looked yesterday, Saturday, the price had tripled. And again, the whole thing is, you know, I kind of fluctuate back and forth. Now I'm thinking like, thank goodness I'm getting out of here on time. But then I'm like, you know, probably nothing's gonna happen. I talked to a lot of people, my landlord, my hair cutter, people at the gym, my friends, and no one's really thinking that an invasion is imminent. And then you turn around and there's a news article released an hour ago and they're like, you know, they could start with airstrikes and bombing in Kiev. Make sure you know where your nearest bomb shelter is. So now I have this handy Google Maps link that shows me where all the nearest bomb shelters are and what kind of sign to look for in the buildings so you can identify them. That's a new experience. And the funny thing was the other day I was actually kind of walking around like looking up for the buildings around me, you know? Just kind of imagining what would it look like if a bombing did occur? If I saw planes flying overhead and saw an explosion against a building. I was thinking if that were to happen, would I have this surreal moment where I'm thinking that looks like just like in the movies. <laughs> so yeah, at this point, uh, the last couple days have been all looking at airline tickets, looking at Airbnbs, packing, lots of packing. In theory, I'm packing as if I might potentially not come back. I did get a one-way ticket. I think there's a 90% chance I'll come right back to Kiev after three weeks, but I'm bringing my YouTube camera, bringing both my lenses, and then with the rest of the stuff that I don't bring, I talked to my landlord and I said, hey, if I don't actually come back, can you put it in boxes or even maybe mail it to me in a different country? So anyway, a lot of different little things to do, a lot of chaos. I'm trying to just see what's the most critical I need to bring with me. Like I said, I think it's gonna be okay, but at the same time, I'm just starting to get a little bit nervous. In fact, an hour ago, my friend messaged me and said, hey, they're shutting down all flights, they're grounding planes starting in like a certain number of hours. And I was like, uh-oh, is my flight even gonna be allowed to go out? Apparently a uh, British insurance group that insures airplanes said like in 48 hours, we're gonna remove that. And there's some law where they can't fly the planes without insurance. So I think they said it would be going forward from Monday and my flight's Monday morning. So I might just get under the radar and just get to fly out of here. I know the KLM Airlines said they're not flying into Ukraine anymore starting since yesterday. So from that point of view, it's kind of uh, hard to ignore some of the hysteria. 
you know, I've been watching a lot of videos on this and uh, checking the comments on the videos on YouTube. And some people are saying, ah, oh, it's just the news. They want to get everyone fear mongering. And you know, ah, oh, Putin said he's not planning to attack. He doesn't have any plans to attack. And he has the right to move his troops around in his country. But I mean, come on, anyone with two eyes can see they're all gathered up along the borders of Ukraine. And what does that mean? Is he just trying to get some bargaining power? Or is he really going to attack? Oh, and I wanted to add, some people are saying, oh, you know, it's just NATO. They're trying to make money. They're instigating things with Russia. You know, Putin's just responding. And over the last few decades, NATO has just been advancing its countries more and more to the east. So of course, Russia has to defend itself. That's why it's putting more than 100,000 troops at the border of Ukraine. I don't know. That feels to me somehow false or just like propaganda. But it is funny where you get these comments, you know, and people are saying, ah, oh, it's just America. They just want war to make money. Kind of like defending Russia. And actually from what I've heard, that is kind of what the news agencies in Russia are telling to the people. They're saying like NATO is the aggressor here and Putin's just trying to like defend Russia. It's a really kind of a crazy situation when you get these uh, totally polarized comments. I actually feel very fortunate that I am having this option to be gone for three weeks. Even if nothing happens, it's kind of like insurance, right? You buy it and you hope that you don't need to use it. And I'm actually very grateful to my parents because if they didn't suggest this and offer to pay for me to go somewhere, I wouldn't have done it because I'm trying to keep my costs down. So anyway, I have about four or five hours before I need to go to bed. And right now I'm heading to the gym because I put that up pretty high on my priority list. I'm always trying to get a little bit of daily activity to keep my body in a healthy state. Oh, and that raises another point. I guess I'll be able to make some videos in Turkey, in Istanbul. I don't know. Uh, comment below if you would be interested in seeing some sights of the city. I know my YouTube channel isn't really a, a travel channel or anything like that, but while I'm there, I guess I could make some kind of video. If you like that idea, leave below what the title of that <laughs> video should be. All right, time is very limited. I'm heading into the gym here now, and I just wanted to drop this update quickly. Hopefully nothing actually happens in this entire, you know, vacation to another country for three weeks at the last moment was unnecessary. That's what I'm hoping is the case. I don't want Ukraine to be attacked. I hope that doesn't occur. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I'll keep you all posted. Have a nice week. See you next time.